So why am I showing you all these blocks of cheese? The reason is, is I'm going to show you a few recipes that I'm going to make really simply um, from this. And uh, I have some women coming over for book club, which is basically about 22 women. So it's a lot of prep. But um, I'm going to make pinwheels, spinach artichoke dip, also a salmon dip, and then not with this exact cream cheese, but then I'm going to make a cheese ball. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so this is a spinach artichoke dip. What I have is artichokes, one can, 14 ounces, half a cup of mozzarella. Buried down in there is some sliced jalapenos because I like to make it a little spicy, give it a kick. Uh, half a cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of sour cream. Um, if I didn't say mozzarella already, obviously I just said the artichokes. So I'm gonna, in the six ounces of spinach, the whole point is having the spinach and a little bit of garlic. So uh, I made one and a half portions so I can use some of this for these spirals I'm going to make later. Hey, this is a salmon dip. So again, kick with the jalapenos in there. Then I have a little bit of capers. This is shallot, quarter cup of mayonnaise, quarter cup of sour cream. I added a little bit more sour cream and then five ounces of salmon, chopped salmon, also a little bit of lemon juice and a tad of liquid smoke to make it a little bit smokier. So this is basically my salmon dip. And the obvious thing I missed is eight ounces of cream cheese. Salmon dip's finished. It's nice and steamy. This is a cheese ball. It's just cream cheese with a little bit of sour cream jalapeno slices, green onions, and ranch seasoning as the seasoning. So I put it in the fridge overnight to harden up a little bit, and I'm just going to roll it in some uh, bacon and green onions. Here's the cheese ball, all finished. All right, next is I'm making these pinwheels, and I'm going to show you what I have in here. It's green onions, red onions, ranch seasoning, shredded cheddar, a little bit of sour cream to add some tang, jalapeno peppers, ham, and a little bit of cracked pepper. So I'm gonna spread these, all of these flour tortillas, and just, uh, I don't need this many for 25 women for sure, but I love these. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer and eat them later. And what that is, is I needed a whiskey sour because I still have a lot more work tonight. Here are the spirals. I added a little bit of paprika. And by the way, um, I think I made five of these. I only needed like three. So I it's about have left an hour before everybody shows up. So I want to show you what I have. So what I'm going to put in there, and I'm doing this before people show up. Obviously, this is empty. But eventually, I'll put the chicken, the frozen chicken bites in there. It's uh, spicy. I'm gonna put the frozen mini quiches that I got at Sam's Club. I am going to put the spinach artichoke dip that's in the oven now, the cheese ball, that's gonna be right here. You got your basic salsa and chips. I'm gonna put the guacamole. I use ready-made um, guacamole, but I added some red onions, some fresh cilantro, just to make it a little fresher. This is where my salmon dip is gonna be. Caprese bites that I made last night. This is where those uh, party spirals are going to be. And I'll show you later. I'm going to fill that with ice. This is going to be water, so I don't have to buy 5 million water bottles. This is where the Paloma Punch is going to be. That has grapefruit juice, lime juice, simple syrup. I'm going to put Prosecco in versus uh, club soda and also tequila. Then we have an assortment of wine. And in here, if anybody wants a whiskey sour, I've got stuff for whiskey Here's sour. Here's a Paloma. So I put two cups tequila, two cups grapefruit juice, Ruby, one half a cup of lime juice. And you're supposed to put soda water in here or something, but I'm using Prosecco and a little bit of simple syrup. So it's gonna be great.